Hey guys, welcome back to Bambi TV. Guys, we're going to be reacting to Ahmed did that answers. Why do you use the Bible as evidence? You don't believe in it. Guys, let's get straight into this. To Ahmed did that. You base your arguments on small points of the Bible. The same Bible which you believe is inaccurate. To me, this is a contradiction. Why do you do this? I do respect your religion, but this is a problem I can't understand. Mr. Chairman and brethren, you see, in every civilized nation on earth, people have disputes. And when these disputes go to court, the plaintiff, the complainant, he goes into the box, into the witness box, and he testifies. He puts forth his claim. And the opposing advocate, attorney, he cross-examines the witness. When he's cross-examining the witness on the evidence that he has given, and on that evidence, if he can prove to the judge's satisfaction that the man is lying, 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 if he feels satisfied that he has convinced the judge in his cross-examination that the witness was a liar, what he does is he closes the case, and he asks for absolution with costs, and he will get it. And this is normal practice in everyday affair. Dispute, you cross-examine the person, and you come to a conclusion. Now the Holy Quran tells us to do the same. It says, Waqalu, and they say, who the Jews and the Christians, say, jannata illa man kana hudan av nasara that you Muslims will never, never enter Jannah. There's no heaven for you. There's no salvation for you, except you become a Jew or except you become a Christian. In answer to that, God Almighty makes us to say, Tilka amani yuhum, that this is their wishful thinking, vain desires, hallucination. Pull, tell them, ha tu burhanakum. So produce, produce your evidence. In kuntum swadikin, if you're speaking the truth, let's have a look at your certificate. That entitles it to heaven and destines us to hell. So they have produced it, the Bible, in 2,000 different languages. And he's saying, my Bible says this, my Bible says that. So we have to cross-examine the Bible, your witnesses. And we are proving from the mouth of your witnesses that the thing that you are alleging, what you are saying, you are claiming, is not there. You see? Now you say, well, what about the other things which are true? I said, look, that is not at stake. If the Bible says that God is one, we say, we agree with you. He said, I quoted you from the Bible. He said, look, everyone is personally responsible for his or her action. I say, we agree with you. Can't you see? If you say, God is a loving father in heaven, I said, right, we agree with you. But when you say that he's like Shylock, wanting to get a pound of flesh from his creation, Adam and Eve sins and he makes you responsible. And at the beginning of 1986, there were 4.8 billion people on earth. And according to the Christian belief that everyone goes to hell for what? The sin that Adam and Eve committed. So I said, this is the most nonsensical idea. Because Adam didn't ask me before eating the apple, nor did Eve ask my wife. How can God hold us responsible? <laughs> Guys, like, let's like, a lot of people used to come after me in my channel saying I'm doing this for money or I'm doing this to get views. I can tell you right now that it's for none because I don't think I'm making a lot of views from it and I don't think I'm making money from it. Yes, I will say that I don't think I'm making money from these videos. I don't even think I'm making money from YouTube channel. Like, I'm doing it based on, I like it. It's fun. And if I'm being honest, everybody in this world wants to know the truth. And everybody, like, I want to understand it. This, like, I did not know anything about this religion last year. Like, I just started understanding this religion. I'm telling you, be like, you have a lot of evidence, why don't you convert? Like, I would not be a person that would convert and say, I want to convert back to Christianity, or I feel Muslim is not the right religion. So now I have to, I, I need to be sure, like, this is what I just had to put there. So let's come back to this. He said something like, 
why are we going to pay for why are we going to pay for the sins of Adam and Eve? I won't call it sin. I'll call it actions. Chill, I'll explain. If, if Amanda that got a wife from America, he marries a wife from America, he becomes an American citizen. Because I, I think he's from South Africa. So he becomes an American citizen and he gives birth to the child in America. The child automatically becomes a citizen of America. So if the child is going to say, I, I don't want to be a citizen of America because my father gave birth to me here, yeah, I want to renounce the citizenship and go as well. This is something you were born into. Like, this is actually your father. Like, your father committed this action. So you have to face the repercussion. Like, that, that is love you give. Like, that is life. Like, for every action, there's an equal and opposite reaction. So you, you can't expect that you did this and your offspring is not going to be affected by what you did. Like that is it's no let's remove the 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 God part of it. Like let's use science. Like it's it's logical. Like if you <laughs> I don't know how to put this, but like there are things that happen like you cannot give birth to a child and you expect him to look like someone else. Like, he's supposed to look like you. Like, it's logical. Let's go back to this. Like, I have been watching a lot of videos, to be honest. I have a friend and we actually send each other videos. And there's a, this video I saw that caught my attention. He was like, wait, wait, I'm going to remember. The video was like, the Quran actually says, you should you should confirm the validity of the Quran. I don't know if it's validity of the Quran, but like something in that context, through the Gospels of through the Gospels that was there, and Muslims say the Gospels have been corrupted. But if you say the Gospels have been corrupted, meaning the Quran is not valid. Yes, I will explain because the Quran is able to test stand the test of time. And for you to say the gospels that have been there is not valid does not mean like it's clearly shows that the Quran is there's something wrong with it. I need someone to answer this question in the comment section. Like these are questions that are running in my head. And someone said that uh, this is another question. Someone said for the fact Prophet Muhammad married. I don't know if she's nine or eleven, but like it was because it was permitted then that now is not permitted. And he also make in the Muslim the Muslim guy also made in the same statement that Prophet Muhammad did his his I don't know why this is hard for me to say, but like he also said that Prophet Muhammad is his mentor. And everybody look up to him, and everyone to follow exactly what he did. So, the Christian guy asked him, "So why don't you marry a nine-year-old?" And he was like, "Because it was submitted then." So you you can't say that what he did is supposed to be it's supposed to stand the test of time because it's supposed to end at that moment. So you can't say you want to do everything he did. I don't know if I am misunderstanding myself, but like, I hope you understand. So this is it. Like, now he's saying he, I mean, that do this. Like, if anything, I read the Quran, he picks it from the Bible. But if he does not, he, he leaves it. But it's like, like, and it's somehow in the sense that, for the fact this verse, I agree with you. Sometimes if the verse I agree with him, if really in contents, it actually goes against what he's saying. And, I don't know. I don't know if you're trying to play mind game, but like, I really want to know the truth. Like, I really want someone that will be honest. Not someone that will want to say, you can't look at the sun with your eyes closed, your, not your eyes that you die, your heart. Like, not those kind of rubbish, to be honest. Like, I really want people to like, watch my video, see where I'm coming from, and reply me from that points like from where you see i'm coming from or where you see i'm going wrong like you reply me from there like not you just saying oh is the truth like you can't just say is the truth and expect it does not make sense like 
as he said, you're supposed to prove it. Guys, I'll see you next time, guys. Right?